If you are buying, selling, or even own a home already, this segment is for you. There is so much more to a home inspection than meets the eye. And one often forgotten area just might be harmful to you and your family's health. So Stephen Carter with Amerispec Home Inspection Services is here with all the important details. Welcome back, Stephen. Thank you, Robin. Okay, let's start with the basics, Stephen. What is Amerispec? Tell me about your company. Amerispec has been in business for 25 years. Uh, we do a comprehensive evaluation of homes for home buyers, home sellers, or homeowners. We do a 400 point inspection on the house. We uh, complete a, a written report uh, that comes in this binder with pictures, and it allows our clients to make an informed decision on the property. You said 400 point inspection, so you are thorough to say the least when you're going through a home. Rarely does it take less than three hours, yes. Okay, and then our home inspections, like you mentioned, something that people just think when I'm buying a home I have to get one or are they for everybody? Well you know it, it's spring selling season and people are preparing their homes right now to go on the market so it's really a good idea to, to get a pre-listing inspection so there's no surprises when it comes down to closing. Are there any other services that go along with a home inspection? There are. Uh, we're licensed to do wood destroying insect termite inspections. Uh, we also have a lab that does well and septic testing for us. And then we also do, we're licensed in the state of Ohio to do radon testing. Why should homeowners be concerned about radon testing? Radon is a, it's a deadly gas. It causes cancer and it kills over 20,000 non-smokers every single year. It's created in the soil below your house when the naturally occurring element radium and, and uranium decays. The radon gas literally gets pumped into your house because the, the pressure differences between the outside and the inside. So the radon does, it gets in your house and it can cause a lot of problems. As for talking about Central Ohio, Ohio, is that a bigger concern for us in this area? Ohio does have high radon levels and Central Ohio specifically is very high. Licking County is known nationally for their high radon levels. They're about 13 times the indoor level higher than the national average. That's huge and that could be something that's putting people at danger right now that they don't even realize. Yeah, too many times we go in and we do a home inspection during a real estate transaction and the test results come back high and the homeowner ends up having to pay for and install a mitigation system to get rid of that radon that he never even gets to benefit from and he finds out that oh my gosh I've been living in that house for all this time with high radon levels. And how exactly do you test for radon? <clears throat> we bring in a, a piece of equipment, a licensed tester will come in and drop off a piece of equipment and it takes a minimum of two days. We come back, we retrieve it, it's very quick, take it back to our lab, we analyze the results, and we have the results out the same day and we submit a report. And if you have high levels, what is it that you can do? What can be done for these folks? Well, there are companies out there that install mitigation systems, and it's a ventilation system that captures the radon gas below the house and vents it to the outside. You know, my house is about seven years old. I tested my house. I'm twice the recommended limit from the EPA, and, and I'm getting one installed here shortly. And it sounds like radon can obviously be pretty serious. So this is something that everybody who owns a home needs to consider. It's very serious. It's a carcinogen. And, and it is in your house when we test it and we come up with high readings. It, it's something that needs to be addressed. And where can homeowners go to find out more info, either you know about what radon is, how they can get help from people like you? Where can they go for that? Uh, you know, the EPA has a very good re website that talks about radon. So if you just Google EPA and radon, as well as our website also. And how does someone request a home inspection in general? If they want to get to this radon testing and they want you to kind of check out everything that's going on under the right. roof, um, where are they finding you? Uh, they can call us directly on our phone number or, or on our website. What we'll do is we'll ask a few questions about the house, the location, the size, the age, the type of foundation. We'll agree on a time to meet at the house. We want the client to be there during the inspection. Uh, we'll complete the inspection. Like I said, it'll probably be about three hours. We'll gather all the information. We'll go back uh, to our office, write up the report, and submit a report to them. And this binder, I mean, they get so much information after they've had a home inspection, right? I mean, they can kind of have the gamut of what's going on in their house. Right. It's a, it's a good indication of the health of that house, not only from the radon, but the structural the mechanical, the electrical integrity of the house. Okay, Stephen, I want to thank you so much for coming with us today. Of course, we have your phone number and website up on screen. Thank you.